was strange, I guess, to see a room full of uh, ex-offenders, so happy, smiling, getting along. Um, they seemed really excited. I wasn't sure what they were excited about, but uh, there, was, there was just a lot of joy in the room, and um, that was very welcoming, it was very inviting. I've never been through anything like this. Um, it's, it's really is, hope for prisoners really is hope, R really does give us hope, really does give us a future, something to look forward to. Um, it, it's, like a, it's like my church for the week. If I don't come, uh, I just don't feel right. Uh, you come in here and, and you can let everything out and, and just fill up with hope for the, for the whole week. The, the hope dope is what we call it. There's a lot of stuff that you can't like just motivate yourself on. It takes someone to motivate you. So when I came in, you know, the positiveness, it's reinforced a lot of stuff I already knew in my life, but stuff that I like get away from me. And it gave me the right mindset I needed to start fresh. At first, when I first came, I was at a bad mind state. I didn't believe in myself. Um, like, I didn't have no hope. I didn't really care if tomorrow came. So, and now, like, I have hope. I'm very happy. Like. I got a job today. I'm, I'm just, I just graduated last month, so I'm, I'm a very different person. I was, I'm happy. That's all I can say. I tell John and my case manager all the time, I didn't even know that I was going to stay clean when I got out. I mean, I kind of got there the last six months, but I didn't really have the tools to do it. I mean, I had stayed clean before. But I had been on such a run for 10 years that I had no hope of actually making it happen. And coming here, it gave me that hope and that desire to stay clean, to make it. I honestly feel like a completely different person now than I was even when I started it. Um, the last couple years of my life, I've changed a lot of things about um, my lifestyle, but, but mostly about who I am inside now. Even though my PO thinks she sent me here, I feel like God sent me here. Um, I feel like it was divine in intervention, and um, Hope for Prisoners represents uh, new beginnings, uh, restoration, new opportunities. You know, I got my daughter back. Uh, I've, everything that I've wanted to accomplish, you know, held a job, made a good amount of money, put a lot of money up, you know, have a nice place to stay, hopefully buy a house soon, but have a nice place to stay, have my daughter back from the CPS, that whole thing's closed out, I don't have any courts in my life anymore, you know, and I'm still doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, not taking penitentiary chances like John talks about. And they're gonna let you know that don't let the felon, don't let that be your failure, because the felon is not the failure. That is just the beginning to a new world of your life, so don't, don't let that, don't let that pull you down and don't let that feel like you can't get nothing out of life. This is something that you should want to do. It's something that you should want to do. This is going to take you to the next level of life. And you can do anything. Just put, just put your mind to it. Just put your heart to it. And you can have whatever you want in life. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for you on out.